to start with the things that I picked up from Mac. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot, but the little bit that I did get was not cheap anyways. So, um, basically when I went there, I didn't want any of their holiday collections or anything like that. I never get them because I just don't, I didn't, I don't, I don't feel the need to buy that stuff. So I just picked up the basics, um, mainly some replacement products that I've been needing and just been too lazy to go get. So since I was in the mall, I decided to stop and I picked up uh, the Studio Fix Foundation in NC45. And I actually meant to get this in um, NC50. So crap. <laughs> So I also got a paint pot and painterly and it just looks like this, you know, everybody uses this paint pot. I also picked up their fluid line in black track. So that's what it looks like. And it's just so, I've been hesitant about buying this because I know for a fact you can buy gel liners in different places for cheaper but they all start to piss me off after a while. And finally, like today, I was applying my um, e.l.f. gel liner. And it just irritated me because, like, I'm trying to, like, swoop it and get it all nice. And it just wanted to clump and it dried out before it made the sweep. And I was just like, holy crap. Like, this cannot be life. So I decided to go ahead and just pick up this. Next, I picked up the MSF in Deep dark and you all know about the new packaging that mac has come out with i really really like it it's cute um, it's just a little bit more but that's okay so yeah this is what deep dark looks like and this is what i use to set my foundation and the last thing i picked up from mac is actually this lipstick called no faux pas and this is, of course, a matte lipstick because that is what I truly, truly love. So I did not like anything from this collection that came out except for this one lipstick. And when I went online, it was sold out. And then I went in the store and I got the last one. Okay, so that's everything I got from MAC. Now I'm going to show you what I got from Sephora. Not a whole lot there either just because, hmm, not cheap. And I was not about that go in there and go broke life. I was just trying to pick up what I needed and bounce and catch a good sale if I could. So I decided I've never bought um I've never bought anything from NARS. So I decided to pick up two things from the NARS collection in the Sephora. And the people there were so sweet. They also gave me um different little samples of different types of foundation different shades and whatnot from the NARS collection and then one from Becca and I'm going to try this one too because I heard a lot about it and if I like it I might go back and get it but uh basically I just got foundation and concealer because that's safe and you can't go wrong with foundation and concealer so this is of course the uh, what is it called medium dark biscuit concealer creamy concealer and I love the way it just applied so smoothly in the store. I was like, okay, I'm going to get this. This is gorgeous. And I would swatch this on my hand and show you guys, but this is $29 for this little thing here, concealer. So I will not be doing that. And then I picked up the uh, NARS Medium Dark New Guinea Sheer Matte Foundation. This one I love, 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 love. I love the way it applied. It was so smooth. Oh, and I love a matte finish. Now, I have to go online and order the, um, the pump because they don't sell the pump in the store where I went. So I'm a little sad about that. I'll just have to wait to use this because I prefer pumps. But yeah, this is amazing. Okay, you guys, so next I'm going to move on to Bath & Body Works. Isn't this bag so cute? Like, this year they did a little something different. Okay, so guys, if you uh, shop at Bath & Body Works, you know, 
like you can go online in the store whatever today was buy three get three free off of everything in the store so you could buy three candles get three candles for free aka two for 22 so i went in there and i was a little overwhelmed because there was hundreds of people stuffed in this little tiny store and i just could not get to everything that i wanted to get to before i get into that i did pick up one candle um and it's called butterscotch toffee and it looks like that there we go oh yeah it looks like that and it it smells really good it reminds me of christmas and christmas is coming so i decided to go ahead and pick this one up and it smells really amazing i still have a whole bunch of candles so i'm trying to burn those before i buy more try not to hoard people trying I have been in love with warm vanilla sugar. Everybody knows this line here. It smells awesome. Something soft and sweet and romantic and sensual and sexy and beautiful all in one bottle. I love a lot of the different collections, but for fall and winter, I tend to go towards this. I ended up picking up three warm vanilla sugar shower gels two golden sugar scrubs in the same the luxury bubble bath for the warm vanilla sugar so i was like oh that's cool i don't really take baths but if i should then i'm prepared two body lotions and a body cream two sprays and this is like a sparkling spray spray this then spray this or spray this then spray this you get this for the glitz and glam and you spray this for the actual fragrance. So together, a night alone with your man, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so that's everything I picked up from Bath and Body Work. I probably would have done more damage if it wasn't so crowded. So I am kind of thankful that it was crowded because I was trying to keep a level head because me and the mall man. I can't control it. It just happens. I just swipe and then I'm like, dang it. Um, I went to Charlotte Russe. I was not particularly impressed with the sale that they had at all, but I did manage to come out with a couple things. So I got this little wrap, kind of similar to what I'm wearing right now. Shockingly, out of all my little throw on cardigans and whatnot, I don't have a black one. And I picked up just two sets of sets of earrings so I don't know if you can see these because it's too bright but yeah I just picked up a bunch of little studs to I wear studs to work so I'm always buying different little studs so that's what I got from Charlotte Roos next I went to Forever 21 I got this three-piece silver and gold two finger ring so first I got this cute little top it is some sort of knit top and it has really cute little leather detailing on the shoulder here. And I thought that was cute because I love the marled look that is so in right now. And it's, I just thought it was so cute and chic. And it was only $13.80 for this shirt. These are some faux leather leggings or pants. And they have just really cool detailing on the knee. I thought that was cool. And then in the back, you know, it's just like a softer material. And the reason why I decided to get these is because of the stretch in the back. Like, it's got a nice bounce back. Because I have been very, very skeptical about buying these types of pants. These faux leather looking pants. Because most pants, I do need stretch for my butt and my thighs. Especially, my thighs are massive. So, hopefully I will not have a problem with these. So I got that, and then I just picked up two sweaters. Um, this actually was a decent sale. They were originally $17.90, but they had them on sale for $12 each. And they're just these basic knit sweaters, and I thought that would be cute with a simple pair of, you know, your leggings and some boots and some leg warmers. And they So I also picked it up in this, like, green. Victoria's Secret pink store which is so amazing because we finally have Victoria's Secret and pink that are split 
So I went to the pink side of the house because that's where I knew the sale was going to be better and you can get more bang for your buck at pink. And I just love this cute little bag. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I love it so much. I just went ahead and got like the gift boxes that, you know, I don't have anybody to give this to. I'm the only girl, but you know what? Screw it. So first I picked up, uh, oh, all right then, just like that. Right, honey boo boo. Okay, so first I picked up uh, this pair of shorts that say no peeking. Isn't that cute? I thought these shorts would be so cute to wear on Christmas Day while opening all your Christmas gifts. Another pair, and these say unwrap me. And again, I just couldn't resist the polka dots. Like they're so cute. And then I picked up a nice pullover and it's just simple which is totally me right now i got it in large because i like these types of things my workout clothes to be oversized and i decided to get this mainly because the last one that i got the green one which i showed you in my victoria's secret haul i love that darn pullover so much and I was like, oh my gosh, when I saw this, I was like, I'm going to get that. Next, look how she wrapped my bra. She's amazing. Like, I haven't seen anybody wrap bras in forever. Okay, so this one's a nude, and it's like a seamless bra. Can you see that with a nice plunge? And I have never actually purchased a nude bra before, but when I saw this, I was like, ooh. I was like, all right. I didn't knew I didn't know nude could be sexy, but by golly, they have mastered the sexy nude bra. Because I like the seamless look. And I picked up this one because I don't have a color bra like this. It's like a cute little blue denim feel to it. It doesn't feel like denim, it just looks like denim, kinda. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. So I picked this one up as well, and it's the seamless one with a nice plunge. I also picked up bralettes, and they actually had bralettes with the push-up in it, you know, like a real bra. And so now that I realize it, like, I also picked up another color. It's like a burgundy. I'm like, yo, I picked up Christmas colors, I swear. I picked up Christmas colors accidentally, but... Gorgeous colors nonetheless. Like this is a, a nice burgundy cranberry kind of color here. You cannot go to Victoria's Secret and not pick up underwear. It's just unheard of. So um, in light of like the bras that I had picked up earlier, I just went ahead and got a few things. This one is their seamless um, no-show underwear. Literally, like there is no show. There's no lines. Like it just looks like nothing and it feels like it's really soft it feels like butter on your skin kind of you know and i also just picked up a couple under other random little underwears of course i grabbed one of these to work out in because i am still working out and i love these particular style of underwear when it comes to working out and i picked up this one as well in this cute color and i did not see that online before and then I got a nice nude lacy underwear. Looks very cute. Lace material. And oh, I got this one here because it's gray and it's marled, and you can't go wrong with marled print. And then lastly, I got this one to match with the blue tone bra. And it's just really cute. Little lace detailing all over the front and ain't nothing going on in the back but that's all right thank you guys for tuning into my haul i hope you guys liked everything that you saw maybe you got some ideas about some things that you would like to get thank you so much for tuning into my channel and i cannot wait to see you guys in another video bye